One of the biggest problems I have in Divi University is automation. I want that when someone purchases a product or a service, they easily get access to the community or to the product that they've just purchased. Now, imagine waking up every morning and you have emails saying, oh, I purchased this product, but I can't download it. It's so devastating. In fact, I'm one of those people that when I purchase something, I want to see it. We are in 2025. This should not be happening. But sometimes it happens and I feel sorry and I feel bad that someone has purchased and they haven't got their product from my website. So one of the biggest stumbling blocks for me is that automation. So I decided to use Fluent Cart. I know it's in alpha, but I decided to use it on my development website. I know I'm notorious for using alpha software before it actually goes into beta because right now I'm using Divi, uh, Divi 5 Alpha on Divi University and now I'm testing Fluent, uh, Fluent Cut in alpha. But anyway, you can see here, this is our landing page. It's very simple. I created a site crafter. I really want this to go through uh, the Fluent Cut now, from now onwards, because I want that when they purchase or when people purchase SiteCrafter Framework, they get the download straight away throughout the process and then get added to the community. So the question is, how the hell am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to show you something really interesting. But before I do that, if you're a Divi user and uh, you haven't joined the community, head over to DiviUniversity.com. This is a community for Divi users. You can go ahead and join here absolutely free. The next thing I want to talk about is I also have a Divi course. And if you purchase this course, you will be a master of Divi. The course is called Divi 5 Mastery. As you can see here, it has 717 students. Go ahead. It's only $27. It's on a massive discount. Okay. Usually it goes for $47. Anyway, guys, let me, let's talk about SideCrafter. So here, I mean, just look at the process. If I click on buy now, it takes me now to my checkout. No, very, very easy, very simple. Right now, it's set to work with Stripe. Now, let's take a look at the dashboard itself. So we're going to come over here to Fluent Card. I'm going to click here to see the dashboard. Now, there isn't, you know, a lot of activity happening here. There is 14 products, of course, but not a lot of sales. There have been a, sale, I mean, a few sales. You can see here, September 28th, uh, I have uh, $37 here. You know, so there's a few. OK, so let's take a look at uh, the products, because this is what is very, very important. So I have quite a few products. So the ones that say publish here means they are front facing. They are already out there and people can purchase it, especially here with, uh, let's say, for example, Crafter Presets. This is a product that is already selling. So with this now, what is important for me is to automate the process. So I want that when someone purchases SiteCrafter Pro, they get into the community and also um, download the product. So if I click here on SiteCrafter Pro, and here's the setting, and I love this, and I think this is what's going to make Fluent Cart really, really awesome. So if I come over here to integrations, now I have added one here. I'm going to delete it so you can see how I've done it. It is very, very easy. Of course, you have to have the community beforehand. And if you have any courses, you have to have them beforehand uh, before you add this um, integration. So the integration I need here is the Fluent Community. So I'm going to select that. And then I want to add to spaces. So the space I want to add, anyone who purchases this, is the DV, is the SiteCrafter so I'm going to come over here to Site Crafters. That's the community. Okay. Next, I want to add them to courses as well. There's a Site Crafter course. Here it is. Boom. As a bonus, maybe I want to add them to the DV5 Mastery. There we go. Boom. DV5 Mastery course. If I need to remove them from any spaces, I can remove them here. And I can also remove them from any courses, which is fantastic. Next, mark the community profile as verified. Yes. And then event trigger. I want this to happen when someone purchases. Look at that. I can go in and say order paid. Boom. Done. Create community feed. Sorted. I mean, do you see how easy that is? This is what I need. This is going to reduce a lot of my problems 
that I have every morning when I wake up and I have to see, you know, people complaining. And I really feel bad because we're in 2025. How can someone purchase a product and wait to get support then to get their product? Come on, it's unacceptable. Even from me, unacceptable. Anyway, there's also another integration that you can add here. If we click there, you can add Fluent CRM. And we can add people to a, to a special list. So let's say you want to add them to an email list. Uh, this could be board side crafters. They have their own email list. If you want to add a tag, you can add a tag. And the tag here is board side crafter. But you know what I would love to see is a plus button here where we can just click the plus button and then add the tag from here. I know that can be done because I've seen this in Fluent CRM. So I think since it's the same company making the two products, that should be able to happen. Anyway, remove from lists. If you want to remove anyone from the list, you can remove them here, uh, remove from tags, and so on. Here you can enable double opt-in, but there's no need because someone is purchasing a product here, so there's no need for that. Event trigger. Okay, so this could be when someone is paid, and then you create the Fluent CRM feed. Done. So you're probably asking, okay, so when someone purchases, what happens? Well, they can be also an automation. And this is where this becomes really, really powerful. So if I go to my dashboard here, I'm going to open this in a new tab. We can go to automations here. And let's say when someone bought Sidecrafter yearly, what needs to happen? So if I click in here, Look at that. You can create a WordPress user, add a badge to the user, add them to the space, remove the tag, send custom email, wait a couple of days. You know, so there's a lot you can do. And this is the work that's going to be done behind the scenes. And I really love this because if you go to stats, you can see here, you know, these are the stats. And you can also view the reports here. And you can also see what has happened. I mean, look at that. Isn't that cool? So to me, this is a really, really, really powerful uh, way of uh, setting up automation on your website using uh, Fluent Cart and Fluent CRM. So back over here now, uh, let's go back to our settings. I mean, the settings is very, very important here because we get to see a lot of things that we can do. So here is where you get to add your store name, the logo, and this is where you get to set your store to be live or as a test. Okay. Next, we have our pages set up. Now, this for me is very, very important because you can create specific pages and just use the short code. So if I copy this short code, for example, I can go in and create a new page so let's just go and create a brand new page here. So I'm going to say plus page. So we can name this page whatever we want. It's you know it's up to you. So I'm going to say um, my dashboard. Oh, I'm just going to call it my dash. So I can either use the default editor or I can use uh, the Diffy Builder. Now, of course, you want to use the Diffy Builder if uh, you want to add, you know, more designs to your layout and so on and uh, make them look cool. Okay, so I'm going to close that of that. And then we're going to add a single column and we're going to add a group. So we're going to start here with text. And then this text here, we are going to duplicate it. Because in the second one is where we're going to go in and add our short code like that. In this top one, we are going to add our title. So I'm going to say my dash. But I have a different way of adding uh, this. I can go to my heading here. Oops, that hasn't added. Strange. So let's just uh, go back to that preset. All right, so I'm going to use Sidecrafter for this. So I'm going to come over here to attributes add my attribute. 
So for this, this is a design framework. It just allows me to design my website faster and make sure that I have consistency throughout. So I'm going to add my class here and then I'm going to add my value. So for this, I want a, a massive heading. So I'm going to say SK heading, right, 8XL. I'm also going to make sure my font is 800 because I want it nice and bold. Yes, and uh, the color. Um, so let's go with primary 600. So text primary 600, look at that. So with that set, I'm going to save the draft. I don't want to save the page and publish it. So let's do a quick preview. Now look at that. Now this here is coming from a template, so it can be removed anytime. But the really cool thing here is now I have my dashboard. I have the purchase history there. I have licenses. If I had our licenses, this is where I would access it. I have my downloads. And at any point, I can come over here and download it. And I have my profile. So that's my uh, profile now. And if I want to change my name, last name, and so on, I can go in and make those changes. If I need to add a new address, I can go in and add my new address. Now, do you see how easy this is? And in fact, it's so fast as well as you're designing. It's really, 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 really gets me very excited. So for me, this automation is key for me. And I know once I start creating more and more courses, I want people to get access to that course very, very easy. This is going to lower my support time and also just that anxiety of waking up with a full, I mean, full of emails of people complaining. That is not cool. Anyway, guys, I thought I'll just give you an insight to what I'm doing with Fluent Cart. It's not out yet. It's still in alpha. Oh, there's one thing that I think is very important that I didn't mention. Let's go back to our product here. So where is it? Yeah, let's go to a product. So I'm going to come over here and products. So let's go to SideCrafter Pro. Now there's one product here which is very, very important, and that's an order bump. Order bumps are so crucial because I've seen this work with shortcuts, and it did a fantastic job. Unbelievable. But it's not here yet in Fluent Card. I would love to see that added over here. That would be really cool. Now, notice when I say buy now, this is where the order bump needs to come, or at least in the design. That would really help us um, earn more money per order because that definitely works. I've seen it working with Shortcut and it is fantastic. If that could be added before this is uh, released, that would be perfect. That will be perfect. But anyway, that's my view of Fluent Card. I'm surprised it's working and yet it's in alpha. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.